file access policies and permissions. Once a file has been uploaded to the service, you can select which users and groups have access to the file and which permission levels they have. By default, a file inherits the access policy of the case it is associated with. If a file has been added to more than one case, the permission level taken is the highest one from all the associated cases. If a file is not associated with a case, the access policy for the file is taken from the default security policies configuration for the user who wants to view it. To change the access policy for a file, you must have the Manage Permission level on the file. The first step is to open the file from the File section of a case or from the Search section on the left side of the interface. The Permissions section will show all the current users who have access to the file and their permission levels. To change any of these values, you'll need to put a check mark in the Override Permissions from Cases box. With this option checked, you can now add other users, user groups or services, remove users, and change the access policies for the file. Use the drop-down menu next to the user to change their permission level. A user who has the view-only access is limited to being able to see the file, but cannot interact with it. The view and download permission also allows viewing, but the user can also download the file. Edit access will allow the user to edit the file information as well as view and download the file. A user who has the Manage Permission level has full access to the file, so they can view, edit, download, and change the user list and permission levels for the file. Overriding the access policies for a file means that any changes to the case's users is not reflected in the file's access policies and will have to be changed manually. Let's take a look at a quick example where we have a video called Prowler Investigation that is associated with two cases, Case A and Case B. One of our users, Audrey, has view-only permission on Case A and edit permission on Case B. Therefore, on the Prowler Investigation video file, Audrey has edit access rights, since it is the higher of the two from the cases it has been associated with. In the service, users can upload media from body-wearable cameras or other devices even if the file is not associated with a case yet. To allow access to these files, you can define default access policies for any files that are uploaded. By default, a file inherits the access policies of the case it is associated with. If a file has been removed from all the cases it was linked to, it will use these default access policies. To set up the default access policies, go into the Configurations section and click on the Security Policies tab. You must be a member of the Tenant Administrator User Group to be able to access the Configurations section. To add users or groups to the list, click on the plus icon above the list and choose Add Existing Users. You can also create a new user group from here if you would like. Select the users, groups, or services you want to add using the checkboxes on the left, and click on the Add button to grant them access. From here you can change the permission level for the users in the list, and you can also set the default permission level for the user who is uploading the file to clearance. If you need to remove a user from the list, click on the X on the right side of their list entry. Click Save to keep your changes, or hit Cancel to revert back to the previous list and access rights.